All right, all right. What's going on, YouTube and Ghost Rider Posse? It's your man Ghost Rider coming to you. Hey, I'm up here in Cassaville, uh, Missouri, at this George Poultry picking up a load. Uh, yesterday was Sunday. I dropped the load off in Arkansas. Uh, it was a dropping hook, easy going. Um, they couldn't find a load where I was at, and I had to come up to the terminal anyway to get my uh, license plate put on the truck. So I just kind of, I was only like an hour and 56 minutes from the terminal. So drove up to the terminal because I figured I could probably get a, a load from driver line up um, out the terminal. So drove Sunday, came in, uh, went through uh, the bay doors, you know, where they check the truck and everything, which I seen y'all seen on the last video uh, or a couple videos back. Well, you know, they inspect the truck. Each time you come into the terminal, you got to go through the uh, bay doors. And then they do a full inspection on the trailer and on your truck. Make sure everything is good to go. You know, on the trailer, if tires need to be changed, they'll change out the tires right then and there. Or if, you know, anything is wrong with the trailer, then they'll tell you to take it over to the trailer shop or whatnot. But um, the trailer has pretty much a, a fairly brand new trailer. So the only thing they did was uh, change out one tire. They found a nail inside the tread um so which that was a good thing um then you know they i got my license plate they put their license plate on the truck um car driver lineup uh they really didn't have a lot of things good coming out but they was able to get me this load picking up here in caseville picking up uh well it had a window on it monday 0001 to uh 8 30 tonight so what I did was I could have stayed at the terminal, but you know me, why stay when you can go and get set up and possibly get loaded early. So I shot up here. It was only, man, it was only like 60 miles from here. So I, I just chose to come on up here and get, get set up, you know, and I'm glad I did because unfortunately they had a bad ice uh, storm last night and froze everything over. So, with that being said, I'm glad I got here ahead of it because, wow, man, on my way up here, on the, I was coming, going uh, north, uh, yeah, going north, southbound, they had a big 18-wheeler uh, turned over and blocked both lanes on the other side, and, man, it was horrible. I mean, he was laying straight across half his part of his trailer was on the guardrail on the other side he was fully loaded a reefer truck and so they um it must have just happened because the only thing that was there was just police cars and whatnot they didn't even have a record there and uh well i take it back they had two records there but i guess they were trying to figure out how they're going to get this trailer unloaded because before they could even move try to get the truck from laying across the street both ways uh long ways yeah, both lanes blocked. They, I guess they were trying to figure out how they're gonna get this truck unloaded. Um, and then my thing is, okay, if it's if it's on the opposite side, why the other side gotta go slow? I know why because you got all those four wheelers trying to look. It, it just didn't make any sense. But lo and behold, I made it up here, only to come to find out that last night um, they suspended the morning crew from coming in here this morning, which they're supposed to have been here at eight o'clock. Um, because of the ice, it had all the roads iced up and everything. So the next time they're going to start doing any loading is, uh, at 2 PM when the second shift comes in. So hopefully at two o'clock this afternoon, when second shift comes in, they can go ahead, hopefully, and, and, and get to me. I would love for them to go ahead and load on the trailer that I have. Uh, when I was looking, I didn't even see any, I just seen, I think one other trailer of ours. So hopefully they'll be able to put the load on this trailer since I already know it and it's been inspected and it's in good condition and it's fairly brand new. So that's what we're hoping for. This load has to be in Arban, Arban, Illinois at the Walmart on Wednesday at two o'clock in the morning. So I'm doing pretty good as far as what time, if you know, if they get to me, they got to eight o'clock tonight to get me loaded and then I can shoot up that way. Um, this load, it's only about 600 miles. Overall, all together, this load is paying about 1,600. Is that good? No, I mean, for the most part, I guess it's good. Um, 
like I said before this, it had only two other loads and it had me at 19. And so with this load, it's gonna put me at 36. Uh, not good for me, but considering all the circumstances, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we just gonna roll with it and uh, start off for next week. Try to make next week a better week. But you know, it is what it is with the weather and ice and you know, plus you know, I went in for that one day you know, and just this, this down south is just bad as far, well not really bad, but the low selection just haven't been that great, but you know, it's part, part of the nature of the beast, so we rolling with it, but yeah, I just wanted to come on real quick just to let you guys know, you know, I've been watching the weather, and if y'all can see through, got the weather channel on, I don't know if y'all can see that, but you know, gotta, gotta stay prepared, you know, in this, in these weather conditions, well appreciate y'all, um, we rolling, we, we doing it. You know, I'm sitting here, as y'all can see, I got my thermos on because it's cold outside. And uh, the th good thing is it froze this morning and supposedly around two o'clock this afternoon, it's supposed to kind of warm back up a little bit, but then it's gonna refreeze again later on at night. So we just gonna deal with it. You know, I got me some, picked up me some more anti-gel from, from the shop there when I was there. So we're good to go, you know. APU running, I, I mean, I'm warm, uh, just hanging out right here at Caseville, just trying to wait, and uh, I'm going to see what I can maneuver, wait a minute, I think I, hold on, let me see, do I see a, oh, that might have been a forklift driver, I thought it was a yard dog, I'm finna say, I'm finna go suit up, and flag him down, say, hey, let's get this moving, but it is what it is, we hanging in there, I'm still there, but yeah, that's what we got going on, so this week has not been a good week, uh, but considering the circumstances, I guess it's the best, you know. Uh, we we gonna shoot for next week, trying to get that revenue up to at least five or six. You know, that's what I like. But on a, a note, I've been consistent with fours. You know, the the consistency is there. I just gotta get to a point or get get to where I can I can raise that consistency up to maybe five or six, and then we we can work with that. But hey. It is what it is, you know, it's part of trucking, you know, especially, and I mean, you just gotta, you gotta really take an account to where this weather's been. This weather's been unusual this year. So, man, I hope y'all out there pre-planning, stay safe, you know, no load is worth your life. You know, you can always reschedule, you know, just you guys take your time out there and drive, you know, don't, don't take this weather for granted, you know. Let's get back to when we first started driving trucks. How we were really respected the trucks and and you know taking all the precautionary measures. It's so easy to get comfortable out here in these trucks, and uh, and we we just don't want to do that. But hey, y'all, we're almost at 500 subscribers. I'm trying to get there. Uh, I don't know how much. I think we're at like uh, 440 or 34 or four. But hey, if you guys are just watching and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Like, subscribe, and share. You know, I appreciate all y'all. I really do. I, I try to keep up on y'all comments. You know, I try to answer them. And then hopefully, one of these days, I want to try to get in a live session. That way I can really read y'all comments off the screen and respond to you one-on-one -on -one like that. So, trying to, I want to think of a good time to do that. That way I know at least everybody will be able to get on and do the live session. You know, y'all can ask me some questions. We can interact, you know. Hey, and then, uh, Man, if y'all see me out there, hey, make it a point to make yourself known. Hey, I'd love to see some of y'all and talk to y'all, some of y'all in person, man. It'll be awesome. But until next time, just wanted to let y'all know, this is Ghost Rider. We're sitting here in Caseville, uh, Missouri, at uh, George's Poultry. And we're getting ready as soon as we get loaded later on tonight or hopefully earlier today sometime. We're making our way to Auburn, Illinois. And... When I looked on the map, that's right at the borderline of Chicago, so I know it's probably some slow up that way, but hopefully they got to clear it off and clear it out. You know, it's a Walmart, 2 o'clock in the morning, so hey, we're going to make it happen. All right? Until, hey, like I always say, till next time, peace out, and we keeping it moving, y'all.